friends, welcome to Jyoti Tandon's Kitchen. Today I'm sharing a recipe which is delicious. It's a kid's delight or a kid's at heart's delight and that is homemade gourmet chocolates. So let's get started. So this is a real simple and fun recipe for which I'm using 300 grams of Belgian semi-sweet chocolate chunks and for the fillings you can use assorted fillings they can be different items of your choice i'm going to be making today pecan chocolates chocolates filled with marshmallows chocolates filled with chocolate ganache and some fresh berries that include strawberries blueberries blackberries so the first step is to melt 300 grams of chocolate chunks On low to medium heat, as it heats, I'm thoroughly mixing this until it becomes soft and more creamier. So it's beautifully melted and really creamy. So now I'm going to take one spoon of chocolate. I'm going to spread the chocolate all around and make sure it is evenly coated inside each ice cube on the ice cube tray and if you're fond of painting you will really enjoy making these chocolates so i'm going to show you one more time and we are going to do this for all of the cubes in the ice tray so you can use any shape of ice cube tray that you like i'm using a rectangle one so now that all of the ice cube blocks have been coated with chocolate from all sides I'm going to put this in the freezer for 20 minutes. In the meanwhile, I'm going to chop up some of these berries and even the pecan nuts. I'm going to make them into smaller pieces so that we can fill it nicely into our homemade gourmet chocolate cubes. By the way, the berries and the dried fruits versions of these chocolates you can even eat while you're fasting. So now that it has been 20 minutes, I'm going to start filling these with different toppings and different fillings. Now friends, the fillings can be completely optional. You can use caramel, cookies, any fillings of your choice. I'm first filling in the berries. Now I'm going to put my fresh chocolate ganache. Please comment below if you would like me to share the recipe of how to make fresh chocolate ganache. I'm putting some marshmallows. And finally, some pecan nuts. You can also put walnuts or any dry fruits of your choice. Let's lay these chocolate fillings with some of the chocolate that we had melted earlier. The best part about these chocolates is you can make them as eggless vegan chocolates and they're not ultra sweet like the ready-made chocolates because these are dark semi-sweet chocolate chunks that we used. You can actually even put it for your children for their lunch boxes and just perfect for those sweet cravings. So let's cover each of the molds which has the different fillings with some chocolate. So now that all of these have been filled with a cover of chocolate, I'm going to put this back in the freezer for 20 minutes. All right, so it's now time to take out the chocolates. So I'm going to turn this tray around and there's a trick how to remove them perfectly. With a little weight, I'm going to dot each one of these. Now that each of the cubes has been tapped with a knife, I'm just going to separate each one from the corners, turn them around and I hear the sound. I think they're starting to come out. Yes, chocolate cubes are ready. And look at those perfect cubes. Juicy berries, marshmallows. Now these chocolates are bound to impress anyone and I've called my son to be our taster. Mmm, this is so yummy! Great! They have been a success! So friends, please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget, eat naturally, live happily!